No, it's, it's funny how things happen in science. A single observation may spark an idea that eventually leads to a change in the field. A person has to be inquisitive in order to succeed in this field. You have to ask the right questions at the right time. Many people don't realize their potential unless they try and unless they make the commitment to go the course. No question that Penn State University is probably the premier material science uh, university in the world. So we tend to attract the uh, cream of the crop. I like working with young people. I like uh, uh, having a role in the, their development as future scientists and engineers. Uh, there is a great demand for our graduates in corrosion science and engineering. In fact, even in this recession, I get telephone calls every week and emails from people looking for graduates in corrosion science and engineering. My big thrust at the moment is to be able to predict the accumulation of damage, corrosion damage, uh, deterministically. This is uh, using models and theories that are constrained by the natural laws. And the coupled environment fracture model now allows us to calculate crack growth rates in stainless steels and nuclear reactors, for example, as accurately as you can measure them. So that's been a major, major accomplishment. I was told that I couldn't do it because corrosion uh, is too complex, too complicated, and there's no way that I can describe the phenomena. Well, it turns out that that's not true, that you can describe the phenomena and damage function analysis as a result. It's the uh, sense of accomplishment when you discover something. Discovery is a great motivator of people. That's why people climb mountains and sail oceans. Uh, it's to discover. And in science, we do the same thing intellectually. I find Penn State to be an exciting place. I find my colleagues to be exciting people, competent, very exciting people and um, as far as I'm concerned uh, this has been the uh, best period of my career. And my name is Digby MacDonald. I'm a distinguished professor of material science and engineering and my research areas are corrosion science and electrochemistry.